your perspective. And afterwards, Paul and Ernst will tell you how we use ICT and AI for our goals. Okay, to answer where we come from, this picture might be a bit misleading, saying that we come straight out of the woods like yesterday's hillbillies. But yes, we are happy to have a wonderful park at our venue in the middle of Graz, which is a town in the southeast of Austria. And here we started our work 20 years ago but even this is not fully true. My partner Valburga, the lady in the red jacket and I have worked in the disability field for a long time before for other organizations. When in a European project, we got to know Andrew Lee. Andrew was chairman of People First London, a self-advocate. We never before had seen a person like him. Also having severe learning difficulties on the one hand, he acted as a chairman in a totally professional manner. On the other hand, he also was a highly gifted speaker. And to make a long sto story short, his impressive example convinced us to quit our former jobs 20 years ago and to found a new organization with the aim to bring people with learning difficulties into totally new social roles like Andrew. So our mission at Atempo is that people with disabilities should live, learn and work in an inclusive society in a self-determined way. And to assist them on their way to step into social roles that no one would have thought they ever could play. But more, not only to conquer these roles, but to convince through their professional ex expertise. We aim to assist them on the way from needed fosterlings in services to valued neighbors, from everlasting children to respected citizens, from service users to staff or from fans to admired idols like Andrew was one. Our work hereby is based on the concept of Wolf Wolfensberger, one of the inventors of the principle of normalization. The process he proposes sounds very simple. He says, create a social role, a new social role for people with disabilities or other marginalized groups, organize the needed and proper support and the access achieved that way will open access to another new role. And this support will lead to another success. And this will not only change the life of marginalized or disabled people, but most important, their perception in society and that's the real change. At Atempo we follow this path on different ways. In our educational department we train people with learning difficulties and disabilities and support them to achieve jobs on the first labor market. Approximately 150 of our former trainees work in a broad variety of professions as a billiardeur in a cinema, a library assistant, an organizer of a food delivery service, an office typist, a shelf attendant or an assistant in the kindergarten to give only a few examples. That's one solution. The other way we try to bring people in regular jobs is to create such in the Atempo social business branches. I'll tell you about that later, but to make it concrete and lively, I want to introduce Melanie to you. She comes to us as a, came to us as a trainee 10 years ago, but let's tell herself about her story. Melanie. 
Thank you, Klaus. So, hello, good morning. My name is Melanie Wimmer. I am 26 years old. I live in Austria, in Graz, and I have diagnosed learning disabilities. During my school time, everybody told me I would never get a job. But I think this is not right. So I think I really wanted to get a job. So after my graduation, 2010, I came as a trainee to a temple. Um, what happened next? Uh, after two years as a trainee, I got my job at Cofito <clears throat> as accessibility expert. Cofito is a part of a temple. It stands for easy to read and physical accessibility. Uh, I also work for our AVA project. AVA is a website that connects people who need assistance to people who give it. So my job is to make publicity work for a temple and help with bureaucratical tasks. So um, I said I am accessibility expert, but I am also an influencer. I think uh, all of us, or many of us, know the word influencer. Uh, and at a temple, we say influencer for the part of inclusion. So uh, I make a lot of videos and share posts on social media. So uh, easy to read information is a key to my independence. I work 20 hours a week and I earn a real salary. So I can live a very independent life. I have my own flat where I'm sitting now and I have my own car. To be able to live my life independently and self as a minded, easy to read is a great help. For example, at my work, I can complete easy to read work assessments without further support. Company agreements, evacuation plans, or house rules, so in the corona times are changing every time now, and they are available online in our easy to read Capito app. So now, um, I'm very happy that my school teachers were warm and now I have my uh, own job and I have my uh, own life very independently and I'm so happy about that. And I'm just say thank you very much for having me and listening to me. Thank you very much, Melanie. So please excuse me i have to stop my sharing because sharing my screen because the recording doesn't work so let's step in again yeah so to come back to a tempo uh, the total number of the Atempo staff is about 90 and something around 20% of our employees are people with learning uh, disabilities and learning difficulties. They are working in our restaurant, in our business administration or at ABBA like Melanie. Other people with disabilities work in jobs we created in our social businesses. For instance, as an accessibility expert in the Capito department, as Melanie already said, Capito deals with the accessibility of buildings as well as with the creation of comprehensible information. The job positions here are, for instance, accessibility tester for hotels and touristic venues or proofreader for easy to read information. In the Nueva department, we developed a quality evaluation method for social services. And the speciality of Nueva is that it focuses on quality out of the perspective of the service users. So we even invented the job of a quality evaluator doing the interviews with the service users on a peer-to-peer -peer level, which really works 
fantastic. So now my PowerPoint doesn't work. A tempo, as you heard, is not a big enterprise. This was never our intention. What we really wanted to grow is our idea, the idea of an inclusive society. Our model for this scaling process is always working in partnerships. We developed Capito and Nueva as partner networks. And this is where the real job creation happens. More than 100 persons with learning difficulties and disabilities actually are employed by our partners in qualified jobs, as experts in their profession, and on regular salary. Besides that, Capito provides contract work that means non-permanent jobs for another 600 people a year. These are numbers, but behind each number, there are people. So let's take a look at them. Of course, not everybody can be as experienced as Melanie, but this doesn't mean that he or she cannot work in a regular job, but one of the most important prerequisites for all of them was to tailor all relevant information precisely to their individual needs and language competencies. During the job training, this means accessible learning material. As staff members, they have to understand their work contracts, and they should need no help to comprehend all work-related forms and sets of regulations. Of course, safety and emergency regulations are from special interest. Paul will show you a very useful tool how to provide all staff with this information without the danger of outdated papers. Finally, not to forget that all internal meetings have to be designed carefully so that everybody can follow and participate in discussions. If you now think that's a lot of work to be done, you're right, it is indeed. But looking to the effects, seeing how this can change the life, the lives of people with disabilities, you will agree that it is worth all effort. For instance, let's have a look to Waltraut, one of our evaluators. Attending a tempo as a trainee, she went through a two years special job training. And as a child of deaf parents, one of her specialities is to make interviews in sign language now. And her talent to teach others made her our preferred trainer for the German Nueva partners. Each Monday morning, she entered the business plane to work in Berlin. What kind of a role change? Often it's not only the core qualification which counts. So the guy on the left is not only working as an evaluator for 15 years, and actually he is employed in the Styrian regional government. He was our most accurate fire safety officer. And we were really sad when he left us for his new job. I have one more before I hand over to Paul, but I really want you to know the story of Marcus. What a shy boy he was 12 years ago when he came to our computer workshop. And now, as a trainer, he works in Graz or Helsinki, Dublin or Cyprus, wherever our digital trainings are happening. In his side job, as you can see here, he acts as a model. And like it or not, he had the courage to step into the competition for the Mr. Styria and finished in the second place. He is the ruling Austrian champion in wheelchair bodybuilding 
with 5,000 people following him on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Wolfensberger's concept in real life. What can we learn from Melanie's experience and the stories of her colleagues? Besides that they all have made a tremendous personal development. We can learn that information always comes first. And we can learn that it has to be understandable information to be really helpful. Without understanding what's up, no one of us can make reasonable, de reasonable decisions without understanding how should we learn new things. That's on our individual level, but it is true on the society level as well. It is true for every big problem in our society. Take the question how we will overcome the COVID pandemic or take the climate crisis if you want. Every time when solving a problem needs the commitment of major parts of citizens, there is one clear precondition, information comes first. Commitment needs understanding and so the precise truth is comprehensible information comes first. At this moment, I will stop my introduction and um, my presentation of what Adempo does. If there are any questions, maybe you can step in if you want raise your hand or give us a sign with a yellow hand if there are any questions you want to ask. If this is not the case, I will hand over to Paul. Paul, the floor is yours now. Thank you, Klaus. So good morning, everybody. Um, thanks for having us today in the morning, also from my side. Um, I guess I stuck to English, even though I think most of us are German speaking. Some of us already know each other, so please don't be shy asking any questions about what I'm going to present here. Um, I guess we are a cozy little group, so please really ask questions if there are anything is popping up. Um, I'm also sharing my screen now and present to you for in further detail Capito, our easy to read section. Um, just give me a second. So, Can anybody give me a sign if it works? Klaus, does yeah. it work? Perfect. Good. So Capito creates easy to read and information. This is, as you all know, a highly analog task done by hundreds of offices in the German speaking countries and internationally. Um, we think easy to read information still hasn't reached its full impact. It should be something available to each and everybody in society. Everybody should be able to choose the language level he or her needs in order to understand important information. Um, and in order to reach this impact, we do a lot of research and development. And this is what I'm going to present today. It's also indicated already by these little icons you see in the bottom floor of my first slide. We do a lot of high-tech research programs together with the European Union, together with the Austrian Research Promotion Agency and some other funding bodies. So. Short introduction on me. I'm a system scientist. I'm the manager of Capito as well as responsible for innovation at Adempo. Um, I have very much the background in order to work on Capito as I come from media companies, from fair trade companies, and I have been a consultant and also do some, some data analysis out there for our politicians and political parties. I guess you know that. But let me briefly emphasize on what happens if people do not get understandable information. They cannot participate. As Klaus mentioned before, they cannot take independent decisions. 
as they do not know the pros and cons of whatever they would like to do. And this results in an inclusion from politics, which is crucial right now and something we can see quite often out of economy, something that Klaus explained in detail as well, and of, of society. We have many very well done studies out there which show how many people have problems understanding official information or complex information. The readability is something a lot of scientists focus on and on average we know out of all the studies that 50% of all official and public information cannot be understood by those people who do not reach the language level this information is written in. These are more detailed numbers. 68% of all public information, information coming from insurance companies, from banks, from public offices, are written in the, complex in, the, in the complex language levels of B1, C1, C2. For those of you who do not know this, this kind of codes B1 and C1, those are the GIRS language levels defined by the European Union. There are six of them. I'll show you the other one in a second on the next slide. Anyhow, most information that is public is too complex for most people to understand. Because the reading ability of people reaches the level B1 in most cases. This is true for about 60% of society. So imagine we have here a problem or something defined in the social sector, but it is a very much public problem, something that can reach out or that can happen to me as well if I receive information, for instance, on a topic that I have never heard anything about it. You were all able to see that right now in the corona crisis, for instance. Everybody started to think or think not that he is a specialist on viruses and vaccinations and so on. But most people, for most people, it became obvious that they do not have the skill or the language skill to understand those official informations. People like Trosten became popular because they can explain in easy words what is going on. We have a very good system to solve this problem. We simplify complex written information in a TÜV certified process from the complex language levels down to the easy to understand language levels. So we do not create one easy reading language. We create three different versions, A1, A2, and B1. And this we do because, as we said before, we think people should have the chance to choose their language level on their own. It makes a difference. Sometimes I can read B1 or I like to read B1, but sometimes I need probably A1 because I only need the most important information and facts out of something. So we give them the chance to choose by themselves. The process with, is reflected by more than 90 criteria in our Capito criteria set, which defines for each language level how we create those easy to understand informations. And every product we do is tested by a peer group, by a testing group, people with learning dif difficulties or people representing the target group of the, pro of the product which is one key in our work. This is what creates the high quality of Capito. But after solving the problem of understandable information, we were, it became obvious to us that there is another problem when it comes to accessibility of information. To tell you a short story on this, imagine you create the best the best inclusion or the, or the best public information for new citizens in a city. And you have like a folder of original information, how to act in a new city of a hundred pages. And you create a, a one version, a two version and B one version. If you want to print that, you probably have then an informational package of 500 pages for new citizens, which in our opinion is far too costly hardly ever happens and if it happens we saw it a lot of times that it just remains somewhere in the office in the back office and nobody ever gets to know that we even produce this very cool information this is one part of it the second part is if you need easy to read information and you need to actively ask 
for a printed version, then it's already an act of exclusion. You make the people come out and ask them and, and ask officials or, what, or whoever, please give me something that is easier to understand. This is also something we do not want to have. And the third problem is, whenever we create printed versions of easy to read information, it's getting outdated and you need to reprint it and to keep it up to date. And in order to solve these three problems, we created the Kibito app. And the Kibito app is a very, very easy working, barrier-free communicational channel for easy to read information. So whenever we create something in those three language levels, A1, A2, B1, and the original as well, we integrate it in our content management system and make it accessible via the Capito app. So you have your folder with complex information and we just add a QR code. Everybody can scan by their own and then they can receive via our app the easy to read information, which is making it much more accessible. They can also have it, take it with them in their app all the time. It's a channel people like to use much rather than printed big books and all this old, old style stuff. And of course, when this information is about to get outdated, we can easily change that in the CMS of the app. It's digital, it can be changed. You do not need to reprint something. So that's the long story and a short version of the Capito app. But having created the Capito app, we realized there's another problem if we want to have the maximum impact of easy to read information. And this is most likely costs. We have, we had in, in the year 2019, we had about 900 projects in the Capito network. However, from time to time, we hear by public officials or by private companies that our uh, annual professional services are too costly for them. And well, it shouldn't remain like that. We want to get over this kind of contra argument, which of course we do not believe in. However, we find a solution. So we told ourselves a couple of years ago, we just do an artificial intelligence in order to help us simplifying information more effectively. We are not the first ones to do this. Just think about Google Translate. A couple of years ago, everybody thought, well, that's not really working. That's never going to work. And think about the actual efficiency right now. This works perfectly well and everybody is using it in so many different languages, it is possible to do this. And it's very much possible for us to do this because we at Capito, we have all the things that you need in order to develop a successful AI system. Most importantly, we have the data. Capito is working for almost 20 years. We have thousands of pages of simplified information according to our very well-defined Capito criteria, which is the second most important factor if you want to do an AI, have a very detailed and well-defined criteria set. We have constantly new data, so we can constantly go on to train our AI. And of course, by now, we have several software developers who are professionals in this, so we are making very good progress, which I'll show you in a second, a little bit. Um, but let me emphasize on why we are doing this. When we apply artificial simplification of texts, the AI can't do this 100%. It just helps to reduce the effort of our professional editors. It opens the possibility to have an automatic, like a public sales channel, something you can do by yourself online. It reduces the cost of our professional editors. It reduces the cost of our sales and project management. By reducing the costs, we hope to get more projects in, not just 900, but maybe 9,000 a year. And if we can do this, we have very much more work for our review groups, for our peer groups, because still, if you want to have the Capito seal of quality, if you want to have our, our DIF certification, if you want to have something well enough done to publish it, you will, you will need to have it checked by our peer groups. And if we have 9,000 projects per year in contrast to 900, we can make very 
or a lot, very stable, very good jobs for beeping, people with learning difficulties. And this is where we're at right now. I just explain it for a second. I did this yesterday with, with the release candidate we're gonna publish in about 10 days in our Kabito network for testing. What I've entered here is the German invitation to zero project. And I've analyzed it according to language level A2. So this is reflecting the general easy to read level, especially in German countries. And just in this two short brackets of invitation, we found 15 mistakes against the Kapitel criteria. So this is a screenshot, but if I would like to change it, I would just start typing in and it would constantly keep on analyzing how many mistakes are made. And in the next iteration, you just click and it gives you an example of what you should write in there in order to become more barrier, barrier free. But most importantly is the big red button that I've entered here right now, just to make it obviously. That's why I also named it in an English way. Um, this is the get the professional peer group test review, or whatever I'd like to call it. So people will start to work with this. A marketing professional of a medium-sized enterprise maybe thinks that he will need to give to his employees understandable information about safety. He can do it by himself. But if you want to have it certified with a seal of quality, if you want to have it on a, such a good level that he can be safe and know, okay, this is tested, this is checked, this information works, then he will push this button and will send the order to our B groups. And so to summarize, we developed an ai based system, something that's going to be published online and everybody can make an account. Of course, for, for, a, for a small fee. People can start to work and learn easy to read language by themselves. But making this barrier, this first barrier, very much smaller for our customers, we can create a much higher demand for our peer groups and our testing groups. And that's, in our opinion, would be very much awesome. In addition, this is now German, and we're already working on the English version of this, on the Spanish version, on Italian versions, on French versions, and so on. So we're going to scale this up, as it often heard in the startup scene. But however, we're going to scale it up in order to have impact in each and every country of the world. This is our aim. Make a barrier-free world something where everybody can receive information on his or her level, what they actually need. That's from my side, everything. In case you have any questions, please, as I said at the beginning, do not hesitate to ask even critical questions. I'm very happy to answer if I can. So thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Paul. So I give this some seconds to you. So step in, unmute your microphone or raise your hand if you have any questions for Paul. We have enough time. Yeah, Christiane, you want to add something or ask something. Yeah, You're welcome. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much for your presentation. Paul, um, my question, I didn't understand very well how uh, the application does function. So me, I, when I'm a customer, I buy the application or, and then I can write a text and you will check it or the application will check it or I would, Sorry, yeah. if you I, could I, explain I, it, thank you. Of course, of course. Sorry, I was a little bit short on that. Um, you know, Netflix, for instance, maybe or all this kind of online yes. services where you can create accounts, what we're going to do, you can create your own account and choose how many people you would like to work with this account. And therefore you pay a monthly fee as, as you know, it from Netflix, Amazon, and all this, all these online services. So you can do the work by yourself, according to capital criteria and in our system. And whenever you need help, you can choose to click on this button and get help from us. 
And that's very much the system, how it works. So you have a chance to do it by yourself. But if you feel over overwhelmed or if you would like our seal of quality and our peer review check, then you can send your text automatically to ours and we will send it back to you in between right now, we think 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one more question. So sure. I, I write the text and the program will check it automatically yeah. saying oh, long sentences or... Oh. Exactly. Okay. You do that right now, it checks you, it checks all the time mm -hmm. what you're writing and if it's fine. And in the next step, it kind of also give you examples what you could enter there in order to make it more barrier free. So it tells you this sentence should, could sound like this. And in about a year from now, a little bit more than a year from now, you can enter whole documents and it will simplify the whole documents with the AI. But of course, it's not going to be perfect as Google also is not perfect. You will need to do the post editing. So of course you need to check where, where our system makes mistake because it will never be a hundred percent like self-driving cars also will never work a hundred percent. Sorry to destroy any kind of visions somebody has here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's very much the same thing like uh, using DeepL or Google Translate, as Paul said. If you want it for your personal needs, maybe you are fine with the freemium version, uh, need no additional uh, services or no um, service from, from uh, elaborated stuff. But if you want it because it's um, um, it's very important that the text is accurate, that uh, sticking to the rules of what you want to say, then you could go for the professional service. Are there any other questions in our small group? If this is not the case, I will hand over to Ernst, who will tell us how you can uh, step into this uh, development uh, of ICT and cooperate with Capito. Ernst, it's your turn. Yeah. Thank you, Klaus. Hello and welcome also from my side. My name is Ernst Stelzmann uh, and I'm here to show you how we can collaborate with each other. Um, I have a business development background uh, in many different industries. And so I'm used to bring people together, bring people together that uh, want to collaborate uh, in a way that is uh, beneficial to all of them. Um, there are some already proven ways of collaborating with Capito uh, that I'm going to present you right now but they are not exclusive. So if you uh, are interested in what we are doing, then please don't hesitate to uh, contact us. Uh, even if you don't find a already proven way of collaboration, just tell us what your interests are and we will find a way on how to co collaborate. The things that are already existing are our franchise partnership, um, in this partnership, we are going to teach you how to uh, simplify texts in our easy reading format. And you can then sell these texts to interested companies or individuals. And the quality partnership is a little bit smaller. Um, it's if you don't want to sell any texts, but you have many texts for yourself and you want to provide them to your uh, clients, for example, uh, then you could become quality partner. But there is also a possibility to engage in the AI development Paul just presented you. And you don't have to be a computer programmer or something like that. Uh, I'm going to present you how this will work. And the final way would be just to try our products um, would be the most simple way. Okay, let's come to the franchise and quality partnership. On the screen, you now see our franchise and quality partners. You see that they are mainly in the German speaking area, Germany, Switzerland and Austria. 
and um, the, um, many parts of this area are, are already covered in our franchise system, but uh, still franchise partnerships are available. And as I already told you, uh, you don't have to become a franchise partner if you just need the texts there. You can also um, make our courses, online courses, or uh, also courses uh, uh, at our premises to learn the easy reading format. And you could also become a quality partner. At the moment, we have partners, as said, in the German speaking area, but we are not restricted to that. Paul also just mentioned, we are also interested now in get franchise partner in the English speaking countries. We are already simplifying English texts uh, and had a few customers, but there was no uh, distinct franchise network in these countries until now. But this is starting just at the moment uh, and we are also looking for partners in these countries. And also in Spanish speaking countries, but other languages are not uh, excluded. If you're interested in our easy reading format, uh, we can also collaborate in uh, other speaking countries, but we cannot promise that the AI will be finished very soon in these countries. This depends uh, on a critical mass of um, texts being generated manually in before. So uh, in other countries, it might uh, last for a few years uh, until the AI will also be available there. Um, but franchise partnership and quality partnership um, does not mean uh, that it is necessary to uh, be also engaged in the AI development. You can do that just for our manual simplification service. Uh, and if you're interested, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Paul is uh, also our franchise partner manager. Please contact him if you're interested. Yeah, on the other hand, we have this big project of developing our AI for an automated simplification uh, of texts. You can also engage in that. And this absolutely without any computer programming or developing um, skills. The most simple way is to become a beta tester. Uh, as Paul said, we are starting in a few weeks our test version together with our development partners. And the market start is planned in April this year. Uh, at first, it won't be an odd, like Paul mentioned, this will uh, last for about uh, one additional year. But uh, at first, there will be a software that is analyzing texts. And that will say if the text is too complicated, not understandable, and it will also give some suggestions on how to write the text in an easier format. This software should be available soon. If you want to test it, then don't hesitate to contact us uh, and we will give you a beta tester account um, and uh, it will depend on, on how we set up our cooperation, but there will be very easy ways on how to cooperate. And also if you're more interested in developing DAI, then there will be also more comprehensive ways. We call it the development cooperation. There you can also become a real technology partner to us. We already have a lot of partners. We divide them into real AI development partners. Uh, this is mainly the University of Zurich right now, uh, but also the uh, Graz University of Technology and also other interested in institutes could join this uh, scientific work uh, together with us where we really de develop the uh, criteria catalogs, uh, the algorithms and the whole system of uh, the AI. 
but it's not necessary to work together with us on that level. Um, also very, very uh, important are the content and testing partners. At the moment, these are mainly uh, social companies that see the benefit of having this um, easy and economically feasible uh, way of uh, simplifying texts uh, for their clients, for their customers. Uh, and so they joined us and are now providing a very, very important thing for DAI, the training material. So at the moment, they are simplifying texts from complex version to easy versions. And the AI is then doing the comparison between these two versions and is learning on that. So we need uh, a lot of text comparisons for the training of our AI and partners who just need these uh, simplified text versions are very, very welcome. So if you want to join on that, and uh, then, then you have to do a, a training course uh, with us and we, we show you how our easy reading format works. And then you could do this for yourself, for your clients, for your customers, and uh, bring this into our AI development and in that way, we could have a collaboration. Yeah, at the moment, these are mainly uh, social organizations, but uh, think of the many industries uh, that could benefit uh, from that. For example, authorities, uh, just at the moment, uh, loads of corona information are being published uh, everywhere. And it's very important that everybody can understand these. So it, really makes sense for authorities to join us to provide corona information for example in easy reading format uh, to reach more people. Uh, this might also be beneficial to banks, insurance companies, publishing companies or media in general uh, everywhere where companies are selling content uh, that should reach the whole population. Yeah, then another question, and that's what the, the today's conference is all about. How can this uh, digital development lead to more job inclusion? Um, finally, uh, as Klaus has already explained, these texts are very important for people being included in uh, jobs uh, where people need easier information. So this AI will be a possibility that texts are being simplified automatically and this happens fast and it uh, will be very cheap. And in that way, it will be possible to simplify more texts than nowadays. Yeah, and on the other hand, we don't have to wait for that to make more jobs for people with learning disabilities. In our project, we need them to review the simplified texts, uh, to check them for comprehensibility. And therefore in our development uh, project, a lot of people with learning difficulties uh, just get a job to be part of the project. What's our roadmap? Uh, as I said, in German speaking areas, our system is already available or the the franchise uh, network uh, is uh, al almost established and the, the first product is available very soon. Um, for other countries, we are just starting our campaigns on uh, getting new franchise partners, getting new quality partners or even development partners for the AI development. Um, so this year we are starting uh, especially to look for English speaking countries, but all other countries are also welcome uh, and we will find a way on how to collaborate uh, if you're interested. And yeah, in the coming years, we will develop or we will finish the AI for uh, the German uh, language. And then in the following years, we will uh, also uh, go to one 
country or to one language after the other. And until 2030, the, the main uh, languages uh, globally should all have their own AI version. Yeah, if you're interested in joining us, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, we will find a way on how to collaborate. There are, as I have presented, some easy way, ways to uh, collaborate us, uh, but you can also directly join the AI development. Yeah, and last but not least, um, if this collaboration um, opportunities, there is, there is a none for you, uh, among them, then it's also possible just to try our solutions. The media channel Capito app is already available on the known app stores. Um, there will be an upgrade to this with our first checking tool like Paul has presented um, and it should be market ready in April. And if you reach out to the world, then don't forget comprehensible information comes first. So finally, I have to say thank you for your attention. Thank you for listening. Um, there you see our contact data. And if you're, if you're interested in engaging with us, if you're interested in uh, a society in which everyone can understand that, then please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ernst. If you stop your presentation, we can come back. We are pretty good in time. Maybe if you want, you can switch on your camera now so that we can see each other. And ask you additional questions. I would want to start with one question, Ernst. Um, you mentioned these content and testing partners. Could you give us uh, some words about what's the benefit for these content uh, testing partners? Yeah, there are different uh, possibilities. Uh, the most common one at the moment is now that uh, some partners, companies, for example, social companies join us and uh, provide also some uh, kind of uh, financial assistance uh, to uh, be used for the project infrastructure. Uh, but the main thing is that these content partners uh, do a learning course, course with us on uh, easy reading format and then they uh, agree to, uh, for example, for two years uh, engagement in our development cooperation. And uh, then they start simplifying texts from complex versions to easy to read versions and provide these texts uh, on a monthly basis to us. And in the end, they will get a free license for the whole system. So then uh, depending on the size of this partnership, they will get a free license for the automated uh, checking, but also for the automated simplification uh, and can use it uh, in, uh, for their clients afterwards for a few years. 